I'm here with Steve Fisher, the recycling coordinator for the City of Edmonds, and he is going to explain to us, when you're at a fair or festival like the Taste of Edmonds, how do you know what goes where in terms of recycling and composting and landfill? Steve, could you explain that for us? Yes, of course, Teresa. Thank you for allowing me to show this off. Um, this is what uh, is going to be a typical um, setup um, at any fair or festival these days. This is what it's evolved to after all this time of um, recycling being the norm. We've included uh, collecting compostable items, food especially, and other things that can go into a compost. But let me start with the recycle. Um, it's a very simple setup. We accept all kinds of uh, cans and bottles and cups into the recycle bins. Uh, we've got an easy to read sign that's color coded blue. Um, most people don't have any problems with doing that, but we want to make it very well designated. We move on to the what we call the food and compostable paper products. As you can see here, any leftover food or unwanted food from a fair or festival can now be collected. It will end up going to a commercial composting facility where it's made into a usable product uh, that you can buy for your home or garden. We want to keep things like foil and plastic out of that material mix. Um, paper napkins, paper plates are the type of food uh, uh, paper food products that can be accepted into this along with the food waste. So we can collect a lot of this at fairs and festivals. This makes up a bulk of what we end up collecting. What's left over is hopefully going to be the smallest amount we collect and that heads to the landfill. And that's a variety of different uh, plastic uh, items, some foils that are not accepted in the recycle therefore have to be tossed out. And that's really the simple setup there at any fair or festival. And this is what it'll look like at the Taste of Edmonds. Uh, and uh, other festivals in Edmonds have started doing this too. 